Hey there guys, what's going on? It's Gail right here back on the 59 channel with another Dokkan piece and today we're going to be covering the addition of Pilaf Strove or I'm pretty sure if I think it is called Pilaf Strove on the JP version as well. And today with me, we have Sunblade and Mass Ningen. And of course, if you do like this sort of content, of course, leave a like and comment down below. What are your thoughts on it coming over to JP? Of course, we've had it on Global for nearly, what, two years now? Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see what the reception is for players who play the JP version. But before we get in, Ningen, Sunblade, say hello. Yo, how's it going, everyone? Yep. Hello, guys. Of course, um, we do we do have news that JP is getting their version of Pilaf Strove as well as the subscription pack. Um, it, but they're only getting one of the two subscription packs available on Global. Global has two subscription packs. One is a 15-day version, which we get 50 stones for, and the 30-day version, which we get 90 stones for, 90 to 95. I'm misremembering it. I think it's 90. I'm pretty sure it's 90 stones. Um, JP is only getting the 15-day version, 50 stones. But, um, of course, there obviously is going to be some price discrepancies between the two versions. Um, on Global, of course, if you buy the 15 days version, it's $5. But due to the conversion rate when you're trying to buy it in Japanese yen, it's going to be slightly more expensive. Of course, Sunblade, um, you want to give your thoughts on it and, you know, go into a bit more detail regarding it? Okay, so first off... Um... You're right, and I don't much care about that because we finally got our hands on the subscription pack and I've been waiting for a long time for this. Um, so yeah, regarding the pricing, uh, for me, well, I live in Germany, obviously, and I pay um, slightly over 7 euros to uh, for those uh, 50 dragon stones, and I think that's pretty much the same uh, to the quote-unquote smaller pack on global ningen uh is that right uh i'm not sure how it translates to euros but yeah it's like because it's five pounds and then yeah, 10 yeah. The it's it's packs. it's pretty so much the it's same six, yep. six to seven euros yep. yeah yep well the the thing is it'll be like five dollars in the u.s but five pounds in the uk and five euros in the in in the in the eu right mm -hmm. so it, it'll be five pounds for me and ningen but it'll probably be like five euros for you know somebody playing in germany mm. so it's probably mm. about 2.5 euros of a difference arguably which is still when you when you scale it because the thing is a subscription pack is supposed to happen over the span of like multiple months it's not just like a once-off thing more mm -hmm. more or less most people would buy it every month right um so if you think about it over the span of 12 months that's what 25 euros of a difference which is if you think about it in the grand scheme of things it's pretty hefty right yeah right right um, but yeah, no, I mean, at least the thing is, like you said, it's finally coming to the JP version. Of course, it has also brought a lot of people up in arms as well on the global side, saying it's a global shaft. What do you think about that one, Ningen? Yeah, I, I don't understand that, personally. I mean, the thing is, there's always going to be the mm -hmm. JP versus global, like, rivalry, but... Um, I was speaking about it earlier today. Like, I'm just a fan of Dokkan in general. Like, I, I like it when both versions get good things, and, um... When this subscription pack came out on global obviously we did celebrate that as a big w because it's one of those things that based on the pricing of it and even for the jp version if you calculate it to be slightly more expensive than the global version the overall value still compared to buying stones is really really good so when that got added to the pilaf trove originally um i've always said it's probably one of the best value things you can buy if you were ever going to spend yeah. money on the game even if it was only going to be those like you know five dollars five euros a month that is probably the best value mm -hmm. thing you can buy so it coming to jp is a win for jp players it doesn't change the fact that we still have it on global so i, I don't really see how apart from people who love to join in in that ongoing argument i don't see why you would ever say that this was a a bad thing for global it's just a good thing for dokon overall yeah definitely agree with you on that and of course, of course, so on global, we obviously have the Pilaf Strove, but it's a bit more expanded on global, right? We have some rubbish packs, arguably, with the ore <laughs> packs and whatnot. Like, let's be real, that's so not value for money. It's, what, $20 for, like, not even a full, like, oh. um, you know, a full section, effectively, yeah, in a hidden potential path, right? I can imagine, um, though, with some of, the, some of the screenshots that we see on Twitter from some of the biggest mm -hmm. JP whales, I feel like if they actually did add those orb packs, they, they would probably sell, yep. like, quite a lot of them. <laughs> Maybe not to the yeah, average player, but... 
Uh, yeah, no, of course. And speaking of that, like, if it'll come to uh, JP, do you think JP will also get not only the ore packs or even the, you know, beginner's packs and whatnot that we have on Global, but we also get Dokkan Fest exclusive tickets mm. via these, via the Pilaf Trove, right? So maybe one time it'll be like, oh, get 20 units and get a guaranteed featured unit at the end or you know, seven tickets, but it's not guaranteed featured at the end or something like that, right? Do you uh -huh. think these special tickets will also make their way onto JP? Uh, Sunblade, let's hear your thoughts for okay, this one. Okay, so um, I'm certain that that will happen for JP because we, we will definitely talk about this in another video, but yeah, we all know that JP didn't hit top grossing for um, the new mm -hmm. Dokkan Fest Broly. So Akatsuki has to find a way to motivate players to like spend money on Dokkan. Like that's that's my headcanon. Yep. So that's basically the first step, the 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 subscription pack, and later on, like I I can see that we will get the same tickets uh, as on global because on the anniversary we 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 got the tickets, the the free tickets for um, the Dokkan Fest banners and the Alar banner for Golden Freeze on seventeen. So um, yeah, I think it's just a matter of time. Mm. No, I completely agree with you on that one because at the end of the day, like you mentioned, JP not getting top grossing. I mean, we've on global, I think we know that the only people we can rely on at this point is France and Luxembourg for <laughs> our Luxembourg. top grossings, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good old Luxembourg, always coming in clutch. You know, Belgium abandoned us with their loss. Luxembourg's <laughs> got our backs, though. Um, but no, as you said, right, um, you know, JP not getting top grossing, I think uh, the, the peel off show will definitely help it because that still accounts for top grossing people buying it on the regular you know it's going to count towards their total revenue right so it's a very very important thing for them at this point in time to you know add more ways to get it because you see other gotchas as well like grand cross ningen knows this of course their packs whenever a new banner comes out and how many sales they get right so it's super super valuable what about your uh, what about you again of course running into you know going into you Let's see what your thoughts are about this as well. Um, yeah, I feel like, as Sunblade was saying, it's potentially only a matter of time. Um, I don't know 100%, but obviously it's been a long time since the PLAF Trove came out originally, like you said. And it's taken a long time to come to JP, but it's finally here. Um, so we always wondered why they never ported it over to JP. And now that they have, I would say essentially anything that's been in the PLAF Trove uh, could be up for grabs for JP. And I do agree there would be a good idea for them to do so because just good, same with the subscription pack type thing. Uh, those Dokkan Fest tickets are usually such good value compared to buying stones that the odd few people um, would potentially buy them who maybe wouldn't buy stones even when sales are on. Because um, obviously, you know, we always see every time they do one of these tickets, there's always people out there that pull the new units off of those tickets. And I think that Akatsuki would obviously have to look at the the figures, but I would imagine for every like one or two whales who pulls the new unit off of that ticket and so then doesn't have to buy a lot of stones, I would imagine that will probably be counterbalanced by a lot of the players who maybe would have not bought stones but will buy those ticket packs. Exactly, exactly. So, I think so too. Yeah, yes. I do think that yeah. opens up a lot of extra potential revenue. No, I can understand that as well. That's a very, very solid point. Um, it's going to be very interesting to say the least what will happen or what won't happen. Um, do you think they'll potentially do other things? Is there anything else you'd like to see them add to the peel-off stroke apart from, you know, the stuff we've gotten so far? Do you think there's anything to give it extra value that they might do on the JP version that they haven't on the global version yet? Maybe you can start with some Either items way. to level up links easier. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I mean, that would be an interesting way to go about it. I, I mean, that would be kind of wild, to be honest. But it would be a, something that I guess JP would get first compared to us, to be fair, considering all things said and done. But then again, we did get the... We got the meat earlier, right? The stamina items. We got that earlier before you guys. Last saying day. So, eh, maybe. Who knows? Um, But yeah, any final thoughts before we wrap up, I suppose? Because, I mean, there's... I mean... I think we've covered a majority of it. Is there any points you'd like to, you guys would like to make? You want to go first thing again? Um, so yeah, I mean, just to summarize what I already said, um, I think it's a win overall for Dokkan. I don't see any reason why anyone would think this is a bad thing for Global. 
Um, obviously this is something that will potentially lead into another video but this could be signs of the games like moving closer together. I know that's always the big hot topic uh, and probably will be forever until it eventually happens but um, yeah like I said I feel like anything that is a win for Dokkan overall is good for players on both versions because at the end of the day it is the same overall company and the more successful they are the longer both versions are going to go the more like high quality stuff we're going to get quality of life updates bear super attack animations all that stuff it all comes from global succeeding so as long as one version is succeeding it's good for everyone yep i i can't add anything more to that i was about to say that too um yeah good time to play dokkan especially jp dokkan i'm i'm very happy about that I completely agree with you guys on that. Uh, a lot of the stuff has been very interesting. The steps JP has been taking in the last couple of weeks. I mean, two big updates back to back, of course. Uh, recently, Peton Battle and whatnot, the same name update, and now Pilaf Strove. It's going to be interesting to see the direction they go. Um, this is something we, like Ningen mentioned, you know, we addressed even in the version Z update that this might, the version Z update has to be done together. And, you know, these might be signs that. They're trying to get both versions on the same page. Maybe not for banners purposes, but at least in terms of quality of life updates and such. Which would make a lot of sense and I think is better so that, you know, both sides of the coin do not complain anymore. But yeah, that's all from us today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like down below and of course comment on what your thoughts are regarding this. Do you think the versions will match up now, you know, considering all things said and done? Um, and it's been Gale Wright, Sunblade and Mass Ningen. We'll see you guys in the next video be a dokkan or something else catch you guys later on <laughs>